Hey there, it's the following day and the body of the construction brick guitar is pretty well done. It really just started going together last night, uh, the same day that I started building it that night. Uh, a few hours later, just really started flowing and I was in the groove. Started out with my base layer, then my thin layer, and then we went three layers on top of that. Every layer, a little CA glue as we put them in. I went through about probably 20 pairs of gloves last night. Three, I think three soakings in my hands in acetone trying to get that super glue off. That's the worst part, but pretty cool. A couple things that I did differently with this one as we talked about, I was going to go uh, without the CNC route. Here's my neck pocket. It's a little bit wider than what we need, but I have an idea, maybe some flats, smooth flat ones in there to kind of shim it, if you will, and that could fill in that space. I have my two CNC pockets, and in here, I left a little channel tunnel for the wires, but there is not one from here into electronics pocket, so I will have to drill that one. Speaking of electronics pocket, I'm really happy with how this turned out. You can't even tell that it's there, but then when we come to the back side, you can see how I use some of those upside down, like 45s to support it. Should have room there to do that. Not quite totally sure yet how I'm gonna cover this. Maybe just flats on top, kind of the same thing, or maybe just leave it open for now. Not completely sure, but the, the back side, aside from some craft paper, looks looks pretty cool. So, very happy with it. Oh, the other thing, I kept thinking about the armrest. So these are the same flat, smooth ones that are in the headstock that I'm making for this guitar. So even though it's not a tapered armrest, it still kind of gives you the illusion of that. And if you were playing this, having your arm against that is a little bit more comfortable than the poking up ones. Maybe a little bit. Let's now talk about some numbers, all right? In the big tubs is 790 pieces, right? Look at this. I got it all written out. Okay, you ready to go through this? Here we go. 790 pieces times four tubs is 3,060. Right off the bat, 644 of them I'm, I'm not going to use. Just different kinds of pieces that weren't going to work on this. So we take those out. Then another 20 got like super glue on them or whatever, and I ended up throwing them out. All right. Another 51 not used. All right. So if we keep doing that, we're down to 2,445. All right. So 3,160 down to 2,445 so far. Another 10, we um, got glue on through the mount. So that leaves 2,435. Okay. But then, when I started thinking about uh, ones that I could use, I brought another 200 back out onto the table, so we went up a little bit. 2,635. Are you with me so far? Are you writing all this down? This is compelling stuff. Subtract another nine that got glue on. You can see glue gets everywhere. 2,626. Another 125 that weren't used leaves me 2,501. This is now where this is done and we're starting to put them back in and I'm picking up every piece and counting it as I put it back in the tub. Another 375 not used and then 202 not used, and then finally 56 more not used, leaves me with a total of 1,868 pieces to build this. How confident am I with, with that number? Plus or minus 10? But 1,868 1 plastic construction brick pieces to build this. Pretty cool. So 
but we'll have to add in if I do shimming around the neck and then whatever happens here. So as of now, that's, that's our number. But I'm really happy how episode two here is turning out versus, I'll call it the prototype, episode one when we tried it on the CNC. It's turning out pretty darn cool, very happy with it so far. And next up, start mounting electronics and going from there. See you soon.